Alright guys, so had a little bit of a malfunction. Me and the family went down to Prescott. About an hour, a little over an hour away. Got into town, luckily, and no sooner did we make it into town, catastrophic failure, basically. I thought there was a caliper locking up. Turned out to be a wheel bearing failure. So the better half of yesterday was spent in the O'Reilly's parking lot in Prescott. Thank you for those boys down there. Nothing like a wheel bearing replacement in parking lot of O'Reilly's. So I just wanted to kind of make sure everything was all buttoned up and tightened up because it was kind of a rush job. Had the family with me, the babies. So you can imagine the stress. Not to mention about a year ago, not even, had some work done on the front diff here, and I wouldn't recommend that shop to anybody, nor will I ever have anybody touch my truck ever again. 12 point is what it should have been. They lost one, replaced it with a 7 8 bolt, and I'll show you. Safety first. Well, you can see it. This guy, they had replaced it with a, it was like a 22, 21 millimeter metric. Rammed it on in there when they were putting it back together because they lost one, I guess. Nonetheless, we got lucky. Lord was on our side. So let me just torque everything down here. I didn't have a torque wrench. I didn't have a tool with me. I spent $90 at O'Reilly's buying tools off the shelf to do this in the parking lot. ball joint also so stay tuned to future project all right so we're back everything's all buttoned up I'm gonna have to wait on the upper and lower ball joints say that for another day so I'm gonna bond it up here and uh, see y'all later